What's up, family and friends? Good afternoon and welcome to the Work Nation. How are you doing? How is your life going? Going as planned or not? What is the result of your belief or your knowledge? Are you a believer or a knower? Whichever one you are, you're supposed to be able to tell us the result or to show the result. They have to show, just like pregnancy. You have to be able to show us the evidence of your knowledge, the evidence of your faith. But the truth is this, no believer can show the evidence of their faith. That's why they make ridiculous claims. Claim is not proof. The ridiculous claim is God say, the word of God say, God's time is the best. It is not God's will. Many ridiculous claims people make. God knows what is best. <laughs> And this God is your father. Remember last time I spoke on where is your father, especially your almighty father. How can your father be almighty and you are living in misery, enduring miserable life? Your father have plenty, but you are starving yourself. You have to starve yourself for your father to do anything for you. It doesn't make sense. Of course, faith doesn't make sense. Religion doesn't make sense. Slavery doesn't make sense. Hierarchy doesn't make sense. Spirituality doesn't make sense. Because they are senseless and they are useless in reality. They cannot put food on your table. They cannot put money in your pocket. No matter how much time you invest in religion and, and, or spirituality, they are all waste. You can never reap what you sow in religion. You can never reap what you sow in spirituality. Because they are fake. They are made, made, made up things. There's no knowledge in faith. And there's no knowledge in spirituality. That's why they tell you it's a mystery. Their God work in a mysterious way. <laughs> it's misery they turn to um, uh, uh, misery they turn into mystery. In other words, ignorance, they turn into mystery. Oh, yeah, it's a mysterious thing. You won't understand. You need spiritual understanding to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but you're just saying that to me with your mouth. Is your mouth spiritual thing? <laughs> your mouth, the natural mouth used to eat food, used to drink water. Is that spiritual thing? That's why I say, if you say that anything in nature is spiritual, then make sure everything you see, everything like that way. We are spirits. We are not spiritual. We don't need to do anything to be spiritual. We are spirits. We are energy. We are here to change things. We are change agents. We have the will and the power to make things happen. We can come up with ideas, incubate it in our mind and work hard to bring it into reality. Hard work pays. Anyone that tell you that hard work doesn't pay, that means that person is working on their own thing. When you know what to do and you work hard at it, it must pay. That's why you see like all these criminals succeeding because they know what they're doing, so they, they work hard at it. You need to see how your pastor study to know what to preach in every service. They study hard. They buy books. They buy dictionaries. They, they buy videos. They equip themselves to rob you. So it is time you equip yourself to deliver yourself. Equip yourself with knowledge. Knowledge is the greatest, not love. Love is a lie. <laughs> just as God is a lie. Love is fake, just as God is fake. That's why they say God is love. They never tell you God is knowledge. Nowhere. God hated knowledge from the beginning. Say, if any day you know, 
you if any day you eat this, you will die. No, the serpent says God lie. Of course, God is a liar. God know the day you you eat it, you will be like him, knowing good and evil. And that's what happened. God forbade them from eating from the tree of knowledge, because there's no knowledge in God. There's no knowledge in Jesus Christ. All you have in them is faith, and what is faith? Fake believing things that are not real that they are real. They tell you Abraham calling things that 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 are not as if they are weird. That's a lie. Abraham never existed. That's why you see some stupid people. You can't have a child, and instead of you to do something to have a child, you say no. Abraham and the Sarah, they, they, they it never happen. Don't you see, even before they have Isaac, they have to come in contact with Africa. So you need the African way of having children. You don't have a child. Maybe you are, your wife, they say your wife is barren. Marry second wife. You don't have to divorce the first one. Why are you divorcing her? Especially when she's good to you, to cook nice food for you. This woman has been there for, for you, or for both of you. Yet you are divorcing because oh, my parents say I need to have a child. You are stupid. Good child. You want to have a child. There are many ways to have a child or children in this world without having divorce, without killing anyone. You can have a child. You are you are impotent. You a man. You are impotent. Of course, you have brothers. You have uncles. You can marry and they help you impregnate your wife. The children belong to you since you are crazy about children. But they destroy all those things among us and gave us this barbaric and a stupid belief you call Christianity or Judaism or Islam recorded in books called Quran, Torah and the Bible all bullshit commanding you to love your parents commanding you to love your family commanding you to love your enemies they are all bullshit you don't need all that that's why I titled this, Consider Your Ways. You have to consider your ways. Use your tongue to count your teeth. When you were a child, maybe you ask another child to count your own teeth. You open your mouth, count it tight. <laughs> That's an adult. You count your own teeth. You use your tongue. And you don't open it in public, counting it. No. You, you count it inside. How many, how many things do I have? <laughs> then you, can, you have to consider your ways. Look at your life. It is your ways. Do you remember what they say in the Bible? It says, honor the Lord with your substance. <laughs> the law you need to honor with your substance is useless to you. The law is supposed to... Uh, supposed not to demand honor from you. Don't supposed to demand worship from you. Don't demand, don't supposed to demand belief from you. He's supposed to believe you. He's the one that created you. He's supposed to trust you. He's the one that created you. He's supposed to take good care of you without demanding all that. But the Lord means slave master. So that's why the demands. That's why the laws and commandments to control the slaves. The laws and commandments are not for the free man or free born. It's for slaves. Say, honor the law with all your substance. He said, in all your ways, <laughs> acknowledge him. <laughs> in all your ways, it is originally your ways, but they converted you to not regard your ways, but regard the Lord you have not seen or can see. You begin to regard, you begin to acknowledge imaginary being you have not seen, even if, I mean, even when it's obvious you are suffering, you, you are acknowledging an imaginary being instead of acknowledging your strength, yourself, your contributions, the contributions of others, your fellow human beings. You are acknowledging a God you have not seen or can see. You are acknowledging a God that did not prevent that situation you went through. You are acknowledging a God that did not show up to save you or to help you. You are acknowledging a God that is useless to you and your family. Say, lean not on your own understanding. You know what it means to have understanding? You investigate the thing, you make thorough research and come up. This is how it is. And you are certain 
not guess work. They know. They say that when you have good understanding, it gives you favor. Good understanding gives you favor. But they say, don't lean on your own understanding. <laughs> Let the Lord will give you another understanding. Your own understanding is carnal. Don't be carnal. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck all of them. Anyone that tell you carnal, that tell you you are carnal, shouldn't remain on your friend list if you are wakened. Because I don't man or a mother mother and you more more. Spirit and the kana. <laughs> I mean, spirits, imaginary spirits or invisible spirits, supposed to have no business with you. So if they say God is a spirit you cannot see, you're not supposed to have business with God. That's why I say if you are talking about spiritual things or spirituality, just keep it in spiritual world. I am in the real world, in the physical world. I need knowledge, I need science. And you see how coronavirus is biting the whole world. What are the whole world waiting for? Vaccine. And for those of you that are against uh, Bill Gates, with all the silly fear tactics that uh, Trump and his likes are putting online to scare you because you are, you are, you, you are in the same belief system. The, okay, government, uh, government is making their own vaccine, right? <laughs> you say Bill Gates, he want to force people to get vaccinated. Oh, that's his business. What do you expect? Is he not why the, the business people, people that have uh, uh, things to sell, make commercials? Why do they advertise it? For you to buy it. <laughs> For you to buy it. That's his own business he's doing. You, and you're against it. Because the man is smarter than you. Smarter than you are God. When there is virus, when there is disease, you need vaccine. In America, here, you, you, your child cannot attend school without being vaccinated. And you, you imagine how people were kicking against that vaccine that they are taking now. I said it one time, I said, all those of you that are making noise, you are getting, they want to force you to get vaccine, blah, blah, blah. They will inject you this, they will inject you that, especially you that is living in Africa. They say for you to come to America, you must get vaccine. You say, oh, with all pleasure. You, give me more than one. <laughs> you say one, I can take two. <laughs> it's not something that we happened in the past. It has been happening in the present and happening now. And we're happening in the future. There is nothing new under the sun. You are making noise. You say, oh, they want one world religion. It's already been in existence. How did America come into existence? Europeans build America. They call it New World then. People who are against it here yeah, America. Because the poor or powerless people only do powerless things. Powerless things, they rally around, make noise, blah, 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 blah. The, the rich and powerful, the wicked ones still make the laws. <laughs> you make all the noise. They throw, you know, when, when, when dog is back and bop, 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 you throw some bones or some meat, we just forget the back of you and go for that. We must go. It's tempting. <laughs> you make all the noise. They say you must have a vaccine. You must have it. Who are you? Say they want to call. Have they been controlling you? Imagine an American citizen saying that he's free. You are not. You cannot drive a car without registration, without license, without insurance. And you are talking about freedom. You are not free. You are only free to obey their rules and regulations. You are free to obey their laws. If you say you will not obey, they, 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 they put you in jail. And if you are not an American citizen they, citizen, they deport you wherever you come from. That's the free liberty you have in America. Liberty to follow their laws. And where there is law, there is no freedom. You have bondage. Law keep you in bondage. They say lockdown. They plan it to put the economy. You are stupid. Lock, they put lockdown for you to for you to stop the spread of uh, the disease until they get the vaccine or, or, or at least keep it under control. Don't you quarantine yourself when you are sick before coronavirus. Oh man, if you never have malaria before, you will not understand what I'm saying. I, I have malaria multiple times, multiple times, especially when I was in Nigeria. Many Nigerians have malaria every week. Every week they have malaria. <laughs> malaria. Some of them have typhoid fever. 
And you're saying, ah, it's fake, it's, pl it's planned. How about malaria? Have you dealt with malaria? Chinese people dealt with COVID-19 as people that believe in science or people that embrace science and you are running your mouth. They are taking world power. World power you are, people that have weapon and the money, they are the world powers. Is your country among the world powers? No. Why? Because they are religious. They don't have weapon. They don't have money. All they are chasing is prosperity. They think prosperity is having money only. And you don't have weapon. People that have weapon will be controlling you. That's why you see a place in Nigeria, like in Nigeria, the, the, the politicians control, the military can come and beat you up. You can't do nothing. Even if you have money, they can still arrest you and put you in jail. But you have weapon, you have money. No, they will not do that. <laughs> they know, no, this one, I'm not touching this one. I don't want problem. Because they know at least before they, they kill you, you will kill at least one or two of them. So they say, okay, let's leave it. Let's leave him. You have to consider your way. See how you are suffering. See how you are suffering. You say you believe in God Almighty. You say that this God, I cast all my burden upon him. He takes care of me. He's the one keeping me alive. He's this, he's that. Come on, how long will you be? in that situation and waiting for this god they tell you that god will do it last year last year has passed you are waiting for this year again next year is coming you still keep waiting the lord is good all the time why you are suffering all the time unnecessarily you need to wake up i will keep sounding the horn i will keep blowing it into your ears until you wake up god is too useless to help you in reality god is too useless to help you in your times of need you can help yourself in times of need your fellow human beings can help you in times of need but no god can help you no jesus can help you you can claim all god's grace in this life you will end up in disgrace you can claim all god's mess in this life you will end up messing up your life because they don't want you to use your own brain. They say, don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God. Then he will fill your bound with bullshit. He will fill your brain with bullshit. You begin to hallucinate. You begin to see things that are not real and claiming they are real. All you have is claim. You don't have proof. They want to take this from me. You don't have that or you don't... Anybody that said they want to take their freedom, they don't have freedom in the first place. You can't have freedom and say somebody wants to take it. <laughs> no. People that say they want to take their freedom are slaves. They don't have freedom. But because they give them some empty promises, or they feel like, oh, I have this, I have that, that means I'm free. No. You are living in bondage as a believer. You are living in bondage. As one who believes in imaginary kingdom, imaginary world, or invisible God, invisible world, invisible promises, invisible rewards. You that believe in life after death. I was thinking out loud yesterday. I said, imagine, somebody believe in life after death. He still also say he believes in re re reincarnation. That's confusion. This thing brings confusion to you. How can you believe in life after death, uh, after life? Then you also believe in reincarnation. And that's why you see them confused. They're praying to their ancestors. Why they say they believe in reincarnation? So the ancestors that are reincarnated are the ones you are still praying, believing they are some we are watching you, some we are strengthening you. Fool, they are already in you. You are one blood with them. Blood is thicker than water. You haven't heard that? Blood is thicker than love. love. Blood is thicker than belief. You have to consider your ways. They lie to us about many things. You remember they said uh, it is God that makes king. It's God that makes one. It's the gods of the land that determine who will be king. No, it is some people that decided to do all that. Kingship is against nature. Having a king over your life is evil. It's more, something we must destroy. But this thing has eaten so deep into us 
Some of us think it is impossible. No, no matter how long it be, the truth will prevail. Time will come when the elders will take their places again and stop being stupid elders who have king over them. It is people that make kings. How can you make somebody your, your king and that person will be ruling over you? You are the one that makes you kings are servants to the people. Kings are supposed to be servants to the people, not people being servants to the king. You see the child of a king, you say, my prince, my princess, fuck that. Oh, how I wish I would be in a place I will meet the, the prince or the, the daughter or, 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 or the do, do, uh, princess of the king of my town. They don't, I, I, I don't just make mouth. When I was pastoring a church in Ufuma, uh, the idea of Ufuma, he came into uh, uh, Mr. Konko, who was the head of NNPC then. He was the member of my, the church I was pastoring in Ufuma. I used to go to his office in Lagos then. He give, you know, that's where I see that people have dollars, you know, <laughs> euro and the naira. In Nigeria, starch in their, in, their, in their drawer. He just draw it. He just throw some bundle to me, a pump pump. He give me naira now because I, I mean, his village pastor in his uh, village church. I was enjoying that time though. I never had financial problem in my life. Unless I'm thinking nonsense. But if I think where I can never have financial problem. Money serves me. The man walking, everybody stood up, including uh, the man that gives me money when I go to his office. A rich man. Head of NNPC Lagos then. I refuse to stand up. They say, you don't know. I say, I don't care. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> I bow to no man. Because when it comes to faith, I was so stubborn. Just as I'm stubborn with knowledge today, uh, the same way I used to preach Jesus and lie is the same way I'm preaching Jesus in truth because it is the same power. The same power you used to be in ignorance is the same power you used to be in knowledge. It's the same. You have not changed. You cannot change. You, but you change your belief. You change the, your condition. You have to consider your ways. Is this thing working for me? You have your own ways. Stop. With the, what is the ways of the Lord? The ways of the Lord. Are, that's bullshit. You don't know. You don't need any ways of the Lord. Which Lord are you talking about? Lord means the owner. You're not supposed to have owner of your life. You're not supposed to have owner over your life. Owner means slave owner, slave trade, slave, slave, uh, slave, slave master. That's what the Lord means. He owns you. He bought you. That's why they tell you he purchased you with his blood. Bullshit. And you say he created me. If he has the power to create me, why do he need to purchase me with blood? From who? <laughs> he said from Satan. So Satan is greater than him. <laughs> I hate religion, man. You have to consider your ways. Look at your family. See how many, how many years your your people and yourself have been suffering. Yet you still believe this is our. Way. You still carry chaplet over your, your on your hand. You wear scapula on your neck. You put ro rosary everywhere. Um, what do you call it? Crucifix and all that. You put pictures of white Jesus everywhere or black Jesus, whichever one. You put pictures of people you have not known before. In your houses. Yesterday, my co worker was sharing with me about somebody that, will, that his brother, he said, Yoruba Mase was telling me about his brother that wanted to buy a house. He said, The person he wants to buy a house from, uh, his plate number is Jesus. He used Jesus as his plate number. Of course, in America, if you pay whatever you want, this is what I want. So he's so religious, he put Jesus. He said, when you go to his house, you will see all this Roman Catholic. So the guy telling me this is a Roman Catholic church member too. He said, you see all this uh, rosary stuff, you know, very uh, Catholic, the way Catholic decorate their house. But he said, the guy lied to him. He said that, oh, when I bought this house, I spent $50,000, I mean, $20,000 to fix this kitchen. But the guy made inquiries to, and find out it was the former owner before him that made the kitchen. Not him that claimed to make it. But he has his place number as Jesus. And they have all the Roman Catholic nonsense in his house. I said because then even the guy that was saying he says so my brother don't know that I can use Jesus to because of course Jesus sells and it's true. 
That's why you see pastors, with all this experience you have had with coronavirus, they're still telling you about paying your tithe. If you don't pay your tithe, you are cost. What? They, they just suffered the cost. They have been paying that before coronavirus. They suffered the cost of coronavirus. They cannot fly their private jet. They cannot open their church. They suffered the cost. They, they have been telling you if you pay that, you will not suffer cost. No devourer will come up for you. Devourer came. They run away from their churches. They shut down by force. And these people are still telling you to come and worship who? If after coronavirus, you still believing in any pastor or going to any church. You are stupid. You still worshiping any God. You are stupid. That means you are a believer. You are a sheep. It's not insult. It's not cause. It is what you are. Consider your ways and make the right decision for yourself. Take take time and 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 they consider what has been happening. Sometimes people say, "What happened to you? You used to be a man of God. You used to be a pastor. What happened? Did God offend you?" No. What happened is consideration. Consider it. I started with listen. How how is every week I be committing sin? Still going to house of God where I said there is God, and I will still committing the sin. They say I still having sex with women, and you are telling me God, God, <laughs> let me stop deceiving myself. If there is God there and having sex with women is sin, I should I should stop going there. I stop going there, <laughs> but I still go to other places. You have to, when you consider your life, that's when you will make the right, right, right decision. How is it you sow more, but you reap less? They ask you to sow money. God will bless you abundance, but you, they tell you you will reap, you will reap health. No, you must reap what you sow. If you sow money, you reap money. If you sow health, you reap health. That's how it's supposed to be. But they keep deceiving you and you don't want to consider your ways. It is time you grow up and consider your ways so that you can amend your ways to suit you, to benefit you and your generations.